Hi, this is Danny Marie with Marlon May, and this is another video for This is the Police. <sighs> Alright, my father got drunk and beat my mother again. This time it looks pretty bad. I'd like to go to them. Can I have the day off? The hell? Some of this stuff gets pretty dark. Fine. Whatever. I'll say yes to everything. Some friends of mine asked me to help out at their animal shelter. They're badly short staff. Can I have the day off? I'm sorry, you're too important. I can't. All right, all right, let's start the day. My favorite song, of course. All right. Take care of the hero from City Hall. Buck Yancey is today a hero having pulled a drowning Senator Wallace Green from the river. The municipality, on the senator's recommendation, has decided to reward this outstanding officer. The ceremony is scheduled for July 27th, and the event will be open to the press, as well as Mr. Green's family, who wish to personally thank the police. Make sure nothing unusual happens to this officer, so he will be able to attend the ceremony and receive his medal without complications. Yancey, 270. That's the guy who wanted to go out to his uh, friend's animal shelter. I mean, how many days is that away from now? Am I just assuming it's day number 27? Because now I'm confused. What do we got at City Hall? I just get to pick something? Whatever it lets me, I guess. I'll just do the SWAT upgrade. I've only used the SWAT like once, so I don't even know if it's helpful. Police station. We got one more in the labor market. So... She looks pretty badass. Let's hire for A. I feel like I did a lot of hiring for A, so I actually... I don't know if I should have done that. It's our first one. I'm in progress. Attempted murder in the suburb. An ice cream van struck a schoolboy. The ambulance arrived quickly, but the boy was declared dead on the scene. The nearby residents are enraged and demand justice from the driver of the van. He's currently holed up inside the ambulance, while the paramedics try to reason with the crowd. The situation is quickly spiraling out of control. Why can I only send one? What's this support? You guys see that? I mean, what is that van thing? I have no idea. Uh, but I should just send my best person, I guess. I don't... I have no idea. This might go badly. She's just the dancing queen. I'm just the dancing queen. The sand needs help. Jack, some black gangster hit one of our shops. It's too much for us to deal with right now. Can you help? Oh gosh. I'm just wasting men. I just hope they come home safe. Of course they need reinforcements. I could have only sent one person the first time. Ugh. Okay, send. I hope everyone's gonna be fine. Oh, whatever, I'm gonna come back. Mafia assignment. From Christopher G. Sand. Jack, we have something going down today at Courthouse at, in 1830. We wouldn't want any policemen crashing the party. I think 6,000 should be enough uh, for such a request. I just have to write this down again. All right? Noise complaint at Sawmill. An elderly man called the police station and reporting the terrible screams have been coming from the sawmill for over an hour. The hell is going on? What's a guy to do with, uh, to get a little sleep around here? You better go check it out. I'm not concerned about the screams, he's concerned about sleeping. You know what I got out of these guys? I mean, how long do I have? I have 20 seconds? I think I'll have some people bat in. Beside you, sitting. Just Mr. Yancey. Let's do that. Send him another five star. It always seems to go poorly whenever I do that. All right, Henry Sand Road. Mr. Boyd, I manage a large fleet, large fleet of vehicles and wanted to organize a workshop for my new drivers. They have to learn how to behave on the road, so your patrolmen will never even think twice to look at our cars. Please send three of your best officers. They'll ride all day with my people and explain the intricacies of traffic flow and police monitoring. I've heard about the problems your department faces, particularly your obsolete fleet of police vehicles. So in return, I would be happy to donate a paddy wagon. That must be what the van is that uh, I was missing in that one situation that I needed. I don't know why they gave me the spot when I never had a chance to have a paddy wagon yet. So here we go. I will send... I have two people to send. Well, I got some more people. But they're my really... One of them's my, one of my really good guys. And, oh, I wish I didn't have to waste so much time. Let's do it for the paddy wagon. Attempted murder report. 
No! I even sent some of my really good guys. I'm so sad. God. Oh, that was horrible. Robbery at the drugstore. An emergency call was received from an all-night drugstore. An addict is attempting to gain unlawful entry. He violently threatened a female uh, pharmacist, demanding she open the cabinets. Oh, I feel so depressed. All I have is one person. Oh, from the noise complaint at the sawmill, the sawmill is surrounded by a nine-foot fence, and the gates are locked from the inside. Shouts can be heard from within. Break that goddamn gate open. A man is threatening a young boy with a circular saw. The man is screaming hysterically. Wow. Raise a gun at the man and order him to release the boy. Yes. Okay, that's really good news. That makes me really happy. I'm not gonna have anyone else sent. I really don't want Kochi to die. Report from Henry Sand. Chief, we rode along and went over the basics with our empty-headed drivers. We're done for the day. Meanwhile, Mr. Sand dropped off a brand new paddy wagon. It's a nice piece of equipment. Too good for the idiots we'll be packing inside. And they're just taking the rest of the day off. Homicide at the courthouse. I have no one except for my SWAT team. During sentencing, a serial killer killer by the name of Albert Ramirez seized a gun from the holster of, a, of the court bailiff and after shooting several witnesses barricaded himself inside the courtroom. A young stenographer has been taken hostage. Maybe the SWAT team will be enough. Oh, I need to send an officer, I guess. Okay, some, some freed up then, I guess. Send the uh, SWAT team. Yancey. Please don't die. Don't die, Yancey. Okay, proceed. This has been the hardest day so far. Day 10, when it gets serious. Yay, Kochi! You did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you, Kochi. You deserve a raise. I like you. Oh my god. Ugh. I have no one else to bring. What do I do? Gotta retreat. I can't lose Yancey or anyone. I have no one to send. I'm not even gonna look at that yet. Alright, assault in the residential area. Emergency medical services arrived on call for a man complaining of chest pains. While they were treating him, the man suddenly attacked one of the EMTs, shouting wildly about the global pharmaceutical conspiracy. The other personnel managed to escape and called the police. So, one of the EMTs is basically held hostage right now? That, that's what I'm assuming. I don't want anything bad to happen. Look at these messages. Thank you. We got the six thousand dollars from from Christopher G. Sand, and the offender escaped. Obviously, a civilian was killed. Yeah, we did a bad job. I know. I had to retreat. Report on the homicide. No new frame found. This was a weird one. I'm just gonna take a couple minutes, and I'll just show you if I see anything. Okay, I got it. I just had to bring in the fact that the guy was almost run over at the, I don't know, the pharmacist. Whatever, it was one of the guys that were like, the cops never do their jobs. I was almost ran over at the pharmacist. But, yeah. Travis Horton, a known racist, who has already had several previous convictions. Got it. That makes me happy. Okay, let's figure it out. Now we just gotta send two officers to grab someone. When do I get that? Assault at the residential area. The door to the apartment is locked from the inside, and unintelligible screams can be heard from within. Let's break down the door. The victim is bound and lying on the floor, and the assailant is sitting on top of him. The assailant. Waving a syringe filled with an unknown substance. A bottle of bleach is on the floor nearby. Sir! We're on your side! Tell us about the conspiracy! The man jumps up and grabs one of the papers from the table. Everything is written down right here. All the evidence you'll need! They created these medicines to control our minds. Well, the Friedberg police will in 
uh, begin an investigation right away. Let's talk down at the station. Yeah! I did perfect! You just lie to people and then they do what you want. No, no, I'm just kidding. I didn't know I would go away. My chance for to... Can I arrest them tomorrow? Ah, oh, the racist. I don't want the racist to get away though. Oh, today went so poorly. Two people are dead. Declare dead and declare dead. Oh, I'm so bummed. Let's have Kochi work tomorrow. I need someone good. How about Annie and Nancy? Both of them have a good amount of energy left. And the day. So sadly, this is all the time that I have for today. I will not have a second one. Uh, I had a lot of stuff to do today. So sadly, this is probably going to be the shortest video i posted in a while. So thank you for watching. This has been Danny Marie with Marlon May, and hope to see you next time. Have a good night. Rest not my friend. Look at those hands, dope. Yeah, he just did his nails, I can tell. He's got stubby little fingers.